Finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village... Hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Oh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Get in. They didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something exotic? Uh, really? Then again, if we're making an effort... Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note... I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. We're back. We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay. You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Oh, I'm really sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. Well, most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, 
Enjoy. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <sighs> Okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? For sure. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. So bad. Pretty close now. Just need to make it over there.
Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. Work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl. But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. Goodness, you're awake. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Where are we? Where I lived when I was still a child. should rest a little longer. My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well. Honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now? Not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. 
Shinra's after it because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? Hm. Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes. For it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure. But I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help all of you and the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. Okay. 